Alright folks, ready to get off the beaten path? Forget those crowded castle tours and tartan filled tourist traps. Today, on Highland Hiker, we are venture into the lesser known gem that is Tillicutri. Now, I know what you're thinking. Tillicutri. That name sounds like a sneeze gone wrong. But trust me, this wee town in the shadow of the Oakle Hills has charm for days and a surprisingly scenic trail. Expect a bit of history, a possible encounter with some bemused Highland cows, and views that will leave you feeling like you stumbled onto a hidden film set. So, if your hiking boots are feeling adventurous, buckle up. This is Tillicutri like you've never seen it before. Ok, we'll kick off our town trail adventure with Tillicutri's past literally lies beneath our feet, the old railway station, where there is now a free car park. Get those history buff ears perked up, because back in the day, Tillicutri was a bustling junction. Coal and textiles used to chug in and out of here on the Devon Valley Railway. Just imagine, where you're parking your car, steam trains once huffed and puffed, carrying everything from hard-working miners to fancy fabrics. Now, just up the road, we'll spot a grand old building that's the heart of Tillicutri, the Devon Vale Hall. Built with a helping hand from the local mill owners, this place has seen everything from lively dances to wartime movie screenings. Today, it's still the go-to for concerts, plays, and maybe even a local Kelly, if you're lucky. As we cross the road from the hall, let's take a moment to pause at the Devonvale Mills War Memorial. This isn't your average stuffy granite monolith. Look closer, and you'll see a touching figure of a winged victory kneeling and holding a wreath. It's a poignant tribute to the men who worked at the mills and never came home from World War II. The inscription reads, To the men of Devonvale Mills who gave their lives for their country. A simple message, but a powerful reminder of the sacrifices made by this wee town. Now, prepare for a bit of a time warp. Across the road from the historic mills, we have the Affinity Sterling Mills Outlet Shopping Centre. This is where you can find designer bargains and probably a decent cup of coffee to fuel the rest of our hike. It might seem a bit out of place, but hey, history and high street brands can mix, right? Right near the shopping centre stands the granddaddy of them all, the Sterling Furniture Warehouse. This sprawling beast of a store was once the beating heart to Lacucci the Devonvale Mills. For decades, these very walls hummed with the sound of textile looms churning out fabrics. Today, it's all sofas and dining tables. It's a kind of metaphor for Tilkutri itself, a town that's moved with the times but hasn't forgotten its roots. Now, Gear up the scenic part of our adventure. We're about to hop onto the Devon Way, a lovely trail that follows the old railway route, tracing alongside the River Devon. This path is a haven for walkers, cyclists, and anyone craving a bit of peace and quiet. As we stroll along, keep your eyes peeled for herons, fishing in the shallows, and maybe even the odd splash of a cheeky trout. The sound of the river bubbling beside us is the perfect soundtrack for this bit of the hike. Those old railway lines might be long gone, but their natural beauty? That's been here long before any train whistle, and will be here long after, reminding us that even small towns have epic landscapes on their doorsteps.
As we head away from the Devon Way, the landscape starts to gently rise, and soon we'll reach a spot that sobers the mood a touch, the Tillicutri War Memorial. You can't miss it, a grand grey pillar is topped with a solemn female figure holding a wreath. This isn't just a monument, it's a story etched in stone. Walk around the base and you'll see the names of Tillicutri men who gave their lives in both world wars. Some were young lads, barely out of their teens, others family men with their whole lives ahead. Take a moment here to reflect on their sacrifice. These weren't soldiers from grand regiments, but ordinary folk from a small town who answered a call. Their names forever preserved here are a poignant reminder of the cost of freedom, paid not just on grand battlefields, but in the quiet communities like Tillicutri. But remember, this trail isn't just about the past, so after a moment of respect, let's keep going. Now, get those spooky history senses tingling. We're about to step into Tillicutri Old Kirk burial ground. This place is packed with centuries of stories. Tombstones lean against each other, some tilting at crazy angles as if whispering secrets only the dead know. Watch your step for some seriously cool slabs and even a mysterious hogback tomb, a Viking style grave. Who knows, we might not stumble upon buried treasure, but the atmosphere alone makes this place worth the detour. You never know what quirky inscriptions you might find on those tombstones. They give a whole new meaning to getting to know the locals. Strong will carry on grace of Bonnie Scotland song. Oh, oh, oh. The spirit strong will carry on grace of Bonnie Scotland song. Strong will carry on, grace of Bonnie Scotland song. Here comes the granddaddy of our Tillicutri Town Trio. We're diving into the crown jewel, Tillicutri Glen. This lush gorge was once the exclusive domain of wealthy mill owners, who built their grand houses at its base. 
Imagine then strolling those winding paths, admiring the tumbling waterfalls while their workers toiled in the mills below. It's a picture of a bygone era, isn't it? But thankfully, things took a turn. In the 1920s, there was a movement to make this natural wonderland accessible to all. And that's why lucky folks like us get to experience Tilakudri Glen's beauty today. It's a testament to the power of community and the idea that nature shouldn't belong to just the privileged few. As we enter the Glen, prepare for a Scottish nature extravaganza. The Harveston Burn and the Tilakudri Burn clash together within the gorge creating a whole symphony of waterfalls and cascades. The paths wind around mossy rocks under a canopy of ancient trees and the roar of the water follows you every step of the way. It's Scotland at its most dramatic and awe-inspiring. Those posh Victorian paths are still here, so get ready for a bit of an up and down adventure. There are bridges, viewpoints and maybe even a heart-pumping climb. Every step offers a new angle a new perspective on the water's power. Up close against these waterfalls, you'll feel the spray on your face and the sheer energy of nature. It's an experience that reminds us just how small we are compared to the wild world. Let's end our tour of Tillicoutry Glen on the reason Tillicoutry even exists in the first place. That glen we just explored. It isn't just a pretty place for a hike. It is the lifeblood that turned this town into a textile powerhouse. Those tumbling burns powered the first mills back in the 18th century. The water was perfect for washing wool, dyeing fabrics and driving the massive looms that put Tillicoutry on the industrial map. Imagine the glens bustling with activity, workers hauling wool, the clatter of machinery echoing off the gorge walls, finished fabrics shipping off to be sold across the world. The mills grew, the town expanded, and all of it was fueled by the natural power of Tillicutri Glen. So next time you hear those waterfalls, remember, that's the sound of Tillicutri's heart, the force that shaped this town and echoes in its streets even today. Wouldn't you know it, just when you think it couldn't get any better, bam. Emerging from the glen, you stumble upon the perfect place to unwind, the Woolpack Inn. This cosy wee pub is a Tillicutri institution, and the ideal spot to rest those weary legs, and recap our adventure with a pint in hand. Now, before we bid farewell, let's look back around to admire the clock mill, standing proud at the top of Upper Mill Street. This former textile mill, you know, blankets, shawls, the works, is now home to cosy flats. Just another reminder of the town's knack for embracing its history while moving forward. We continue where the old meets slightly less old, at the Ockle Street Clock Tower. This handsome, square tower might not be as ancient as the wool pack, but it's a classic Tillicutri landmark. It was built in 1879 after a generous donation from a local mill owner. Just think, the folks who used to rush up by this clock were on their way to the mills, not a walk in the hills. A nice reminder of how places, 
just like people evolve and change over time. All right. A fun fact before we wrap up. Tillicutri even has its own ski centre hidden up those hills. So if tackling the glen has you itching for more adventure, maybe give their dry slopes a go next time you're in town. As we reach the end of our hike, let's wind down at one of Tillicutri's most peaceful corners, Tillicutri Parish Church and its community garden. This lovely old church has been the heart of the town for centuries, and the garden with its raised flower beds and quirky fairy garden is a real community gem. Believe it or not, the garden was once a neglected orchard. A bunch of dedicated volunteers transformed it into this haven. Take a stroll, maybe sit for a minute under the old trees, and admire what can happen when people work together to make their town a little greener and brighter. It's the perfect gentle ending to our Tillicutri adventure. And hey, if you get this far and decide Tillicutri Buzz is calling your name, the church has lively events calendars. Everything from coffee mornings to concerts. It's that small <clears throat> it's that small town warmth done right and the perfect way to dive a little deeper into the spirit of the place. I'm your chosen And there you have it folks. Tillicutri might not be on the front page of every Scottish guidebook, but trust me, it packs a whole lot of charm, history and stunning scenery into one neat package. So, next time you're itching for a hike with a sprinkle of something unique, forget the crowds and give this little gem in the vocals a try. And remember, sometimes the greatest surprises come in the most unexpected places. Just like Tillicutri itself, the best discoveries lie just off the beaten path. Until next time, keep exploring. Stop the 